Hi people and welcome to new tutorial in Fusion 360. Uh, here I am continue working on the Mini Copper S. Uh, show the in the canvas. You have just to show the back view and disactivate the front one. And let's use a sketch on the on the front plan. And just draw this one. Make these horizontal. And try to fit the sketch on the blueprint. Use this handle if you have not. This one you have just to activate it. Right click and activate handles. So okay like that. Finish your sketch and go to slice. Slice method that let you leave the body. Okay, you have just to slice it as you can see here. Okay. Now what you have to do is just make an offset of this one. Okay. Now I make the same thing. Um, draw. I will start draw a rectangle. Even if I am out of the the right, like that. Okay. Let's change the fillet here. Let's leave it like that. Okay, delete this one, or you can press uh, suppress or delete on your keyboard and delete it. Use trim feature and select this one like a tool and trim this zone. And what you have to do now is to draw a like bridge between these surfaces but using loft feature. Just select this one and select all of these. Okay. like that make sure that option is checked on and click OK all thing is all right here okay and let's go ahead and add some detail here as you can see let's draw this one I'll teach you a new method here but using rail, okay. Start with the 3D, taking this point. To here, and just bend it. As you can see, fit it to the blueprint. And link these points point to the edge from here and just to return your model for not draw on the 2d view 
select this one and see from the right and now you can move this point press M as you can see you can move it okay and now what you have to do is to look from the top and make it horizontal and bend before that you have to fix this one okay why you do that because when you make this one horizontal maybe you can modify the fixed one or that I prefer to fix it the same thing here you can use handle and activate it okay just move it just a little bit with M key push OK notice that fusion project the the edge automatically when we when we click on the the edge OK now hide all the canvases so we we'll use left feature the most feature used here you choose this profile okay this one and we will use this one like real now I will add this profile the second profile here as you can see and now select the rail like this one as you can see you done the work please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to have more episode and the episode 15 you will find it on my website now let's make the outside the review mirror okay or outside mirror I will start with the front plane and using uh, spline just make these points as you can see Here, when you finish sketching, see from the top and you can rotate all your sketch your sketch? Not sketch Sketch on this uh, direction as you can see on the outside mirror Okay It's okay like that Okay Fix it I don't want to move it when I add other sketch or other uh, spline on it you can sketch two point on these on the previous sketch okay, as you can see but make sure uh, the second sketch is constrained to the first one now what you have to do is just add a point like this one we will use this point to create the, the body as you can see here you can leave it like that but for me I want to fit it to the blueprint
you can leave it like that just uh, don't spend more time on it because it's good like that okay once you finish this one hide your canvases and go to lot feature as you can see here you can start from only one point and the second profile is the sketch now what you have to do here is just to change this one to tangent point or point tangent and just change this one to direction now what you have to change here the direction you can control it with this number okay as you can see you can refer to your blueprint okay i think it's okay like that just a little bit it's okay like that okay click ok and let's add another feature to finish the first part on this outside mirror don't forget to save your work if fusion crash you will lost it okay what i have to do here is to add another sketch here just see from the top okay make sure it's okay i will add the sketch here to create a sweep Try to make it without seeing the video and that's the exercise for you. <coughs> so I will start with a 3D sketch here choosing this um, this point or if you can't catch the point you can just select the you can just select the Edge. It's okay. Let's see from the left if it's okay. Yeah, just to move it, move this point, I think. Okay, it's okay like that. Because we can move it after that if it's or not okay you sweep okay choose this one like profile and choose this one like a path don't worry about the error message it's okay just press okay and I'll see the error is gone okay here you have two methods to continue you can use the sweep feature or you can use uh, another another feature here pull i think pull it's okay just select it it's just here make it perpendicular to the to the surface okay as you can see it's too easy to work with it okay the same thing i will use the same feature to make the other one or i will try to use sketch but you have to select the good point here because we are in the interior of the yeah 
I have a point here, just see from the top. I want to be to be like that, okay. But this one you have to see from the rear on and the left to see if it's okay. And just move it like that. As you can see, straight to the edge. Finish your sketch and go ahead to the three feature. Do the same thing, select the profile and the path. It's okay like that. As you can see, you have one. The one here, you can change it as you can see the length of of the edge okay leave it like that it's okay just uh, fill it with the patch feature and i will see i will tell you see you in the next episode to continue working on the second part of the outside mirror thanks and please subscribe and see ya